Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Shalom, 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 shalom. Glory be to God. We thank God for today. This is Fountain of Agape Missions, Center Agape Church, early morning prayer, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. It is our desire to wake up early in the morning, to pray and to intercede. 5 a.m. God bless you, you that are connecting. Good morning and shalom. I'm Apostle Devin. They call me Mama. I'm here <laughs> with the senior pastor of Fountain of Agape Mission Center, Pastor Daniel, extending his greeting. His shalom to all of you, those that are already connected and those that are yet to be connected. So we are coming right into your room, into your bedroom, into your lounge, into your parlor. We thank you for opening your door for us this morning, the door of your heart, the door of your heart. We thank God this morning for his mercy and his compassion. We thank God for his protection this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for his faithfulness. He watches over us during the night. He has been watching over yes. us during the night. He has, he has built an age of protection around us. Despite our position, but God has been faithful to you. He has been faithful to me. So I thank God for your right, you that are connecting. Then I will urge you to share the link. Share the link. Hallelujah. Share the link. Glory be to God. Share the link, beloved. Because God is here to speak to us this morning. He wants us to understand his word. He wants us to partner with him this morning, to partner with the Holy Spirit. He really wants us to be alert of the devices of what the enemy is doing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. As when we wake up, began to call upon his name. Hallelujah. He will answer us. Yes, he will answer us. He will protect us. Mm -hmm. He will be on our side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Began to thank God this morning before we go into our hallelujah, our, our songs, before we began to worship God. You know, when you worship God, man of God say we are, we we'll worship Him, He is happy. So in the morning, we just began to worship, we just began to thank Him, we want to it's praise Him, hallelujah. It's His breakfast, yes. <laughs> his worship is His breakfast, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for this morning. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you glory. Father, we worship you this morning. Thank you, son. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for connecting. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. If you are off, if you are off and you are not walking in the morning, you just need to connect with this wonderful channel of prayer, beloved. You have to connect because it's good to pray early in the morning. It was a custom of Jesus. He wake up early in the morning in the book of first, uh, uh, Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Hallelujah. Waking up early in the morning and he was going out of his comfort zone. He was moving out of his house. House. The Bible says it will go out and it will, it will go to a solidarity place where it will pray throughout, throughout, throughout. It was his custom, beloved. Let him be our custom. Let him be our custom that when we wake up early in the morning, we are still in our house. We are still in our houses. We are still maybe in our bed, maybe kneeling down beside our, our bed. Hallelujah. Wherever is the altar of God, we have built the altar of God. We have built the altar of God in this place here. And we believe that God, well, before we wake up in the morning, the Lord already is sitting here in this chair, watching us, looking at us. What are you going to do this morning? Hallelujah. So therefore, beloved, began to thank God. Thank God because things are happening. 
things are happening. Yes, we many things are happening. Mm -hmm. We are seeing what is happening. We can see it. If many of us, most of us, we can see what the Lord is happening, the, uh, the, the protection of God that is given to us. Yes, if you reach people are dying, friend people are dying, those that got fame are dying, hallelujah, celebrity are dying, many, 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 right now that I'm speaking to you, many, many are in your life support, yes, many are in their life support, but we not prevent God that women will not still continue to give birth in their maternity, so there is joy, there is sorrow every day. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for your faithfulness. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for what you are doing in our life. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We have come again in this tabernacle. We have come again in this sanctuary of prayer to give you glory, to give you honor. Have your way in our life. Have your way in our life have your way in our life speak to us lord speak to us speak to us in the mighty name of jesus speak to us hallelujah many of us have deserted this platform of prayer we've deserted it but because we don't want to train ourselves to be the instrument that God wants us to be, I would like you to pray this morning that may the Lord renew your strength. May the Lord give you fresh anointing, fresh unction. Hallelujah. As you wake up, begin to ask God that, Lord, I need a fresh unction. I need a fresh unction. I need a fresh oil. I need a fresh oil, fresh anointing. As I wake up, Lord, empower me. Renew my strength. Renew my strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord renew our strength this morning. He said, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. As we wait upon God, He will renew our strength. Hallelujah. If we are weak, oh yes, He will become strong. If we are poor, He will make us to be rich. Poor in the spirit. Poor in the spirit. May God give us another insight this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You that have, you that is connected or have connected, share the link. Share the link. Share the link. I always receive, hallelujah, videos from other places, from other uh, people, posting videos in our forum, posting other people's videos. But when we say share the link, you don't want to share our own link, but you share other people's link in our own, in our forum. Hallelujah. May Karaina Baka say, it's good to share and it's good also to share your own video. It means you appreciate, hallelujah, your local church. You appreciate, hallelujah, your, your pastors, what they are doing. It means you are encouraging them. Glory be to God. If you are going to be blessed, you are blessed. Just share the link in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to sing a wonderful song, a powerful song this morning. Oh, yes. We're going to sing a powerful song this morning. Hallelujah. As the dead parts for the water, so my soul long after you. Every morning, our soul will long after the Lord. Let our soul long after the Lord. Let our soul yeah, seek yeah, yeah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hosanna. Hallelujah. Glory. Beautiful. Let us sing. It's good to worship God with a wonderful song. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. If you know this song, wherever you are, begin to sing with us. Join us this morning to worship God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> As the dear path for the water, so my soul long after thee. You alone are my heart, desire and I long to worship you as the day, as the day parted for the water, so my soul long after you. You alone are my heart, desire and I long to worship you. You alone, you alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone, let my spirit yield. You alone. 
to worship you. I want you more than gold, oh silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver, oh the apple of my arm. You alone, you alone are my sweat. Confess it this morning. He's my strength and my shield. You know the shield? He is my strength and my shield. In the name of Jesus. He alone is my strength and my shield. He alone make my spirit to heal. My spirit will bear fruit. My spirit will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He alone, hallelujah. When your spirit is here, you long to seek him. You long to worship him. You long to praise him. You are running to come into his present. When your spirit is here, hallelujah. When your spirit is here, when it is your heart desire, you will long to connect in this prayer platform. Hallelujah. When you are free, when you have chance, you will long to connect. Hallelujah. When your spirit, hallelujah, it is my heart desire to always be in this platform. When our spirit is free, when we are blessed with the things of God, hallelujah, my God, when we know the power of the Holy Spirit, he says he's our friend, even though he is our friend and you and also our brother. You know the position that even though he's a king, he's our friend and our our brother hallelujah jesus has placed us in the high position he has placed us in the very high position that you yourself cannot place yourself i cannot place myself but he has placed us in the high position he says our friend and our brother even though it's a king if a king tell you that you are my friend hallelujah or a queen tell you oh, you are my friend you're gonna be happy you're gonna be very very happy you'll be sending everyone oh the queen said i'm his friend the queen have invited me special Oh yes, when you see the news that when people are going to meet other presidents that are higher than them, you see how they are very happy, how they are very excited. But we are meeting the kings of kings and the lord of lords this morning. We have come into the tabernacle to meet the kings of kings, the king of kings and the lord of lords, the king of all kings and the lord of lords. So we have to be excited, beloved. We have to be excited every morning when we wake up to meet the king of all the kings, the king of all the kings. Oh my God, this is so powerful. A king that is ruling other kings. Hallelujah. He's our friend. He's our brother. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you. Father, we bless you. King of glory, we worship you. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. We worship you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank Father. We thank God. We thank God for what He's doing in our life. 
We thank God for his mighty work in our life. We thank God for his mercy and compassion. Hallelujah. The Bible say, I will tell this today. Say, trust in the Lord in all. Trust in God in all. Trust in God in all. Maybe you have not been trusting God in all. But this morning I've come to with the good news that we have to trust God in all. Hallelujah. Trusting God in everything. Yes. Say, I will trust God in all. Oh my God. I will trust God. To trust God in all, it means we have to be knowledgeable. We need to know the word of God. We have to be prayerful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We have to know what God is saying concerning us. We have to know the promises of God. Hallelujah. Concerning our, our future, our life, our family. That's why we have to trust him in God all. Trust in God in all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Bible says, I'm going to read, I'm going to read why, how someone trusts God in all and the Lord did not forget him. The Lord worked with him. Hallelujah. Powerfully. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I will take my, 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 I will take I will take my, my passages this morning. The first one, I'm going to take it. Hallelujah. In the book of First King, First King chapter three, the book of First King chapter three. Hallelujah! I'm not going to read all, but I'm going to just pick some. Koraina baka saka raida baka soko rama seke reda baseke. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. Open our eyes this morning. Holy Ghost, teach us something. Holy Ghost, speak to us. Holy Ghost, speak to us. First King chapter three. I will start. Let me start from verse one. Let me start from verse one. And Solomon an alliance with the Pharaoh king of Egypt and married his daughter. He brought her to the city of David until he finished building his his palace and the temple of the Lord and the wall around Jerusalem. The people, however, were still sacrificing at the high place. I want you to understand something. Because a temple had not yet been, been built for the name of the Lord. Solomon showed his love for the Lord by walking according to the statue of his father. Listen. His father David and, and, and accept ex, expect except that he offers sacrifices and burn all burn incense on the high places yes the king went to get down to offer sacrifices for what was the most important high place and solomon offered a thousand burn of offering that on that altar at gibeon at gibeon at gibeon the lord appeared to solomon during the night in a dream and god said ask for whatever you want me to give you i'm reading from new international version solomon answered you have shown great kindness you have shown great kindness hallelujah to your servant my father david because he was faithful to you and righteous and upright in heart you have continue this great kindness to him and have given him a son to sit on his throne this very day now O oh lord you you have made your servant king in the place of my father david but i am only a little child I am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties Trusting God in all things. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen. A great people, too numerous to count or a number, to count or numbers. So give your servant a discernment, a discerning heart to govern your people and to dis to distinguish between right and wrong yes. for who is able to govern these great people of yours the lord was pleased that solomon had asked for this so god said to him since you have not asked for this and not for long life a word for yourself, hallelujah, no have asked for the death of your enemies, but for discernment in administrative 
justice, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never be, there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, 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 I will give you what you have not asked for both riches and honor so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among the kings. And if you walk in my ways and obey my statue and my command as David your father did, I will give you then long life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of glory. Hallelujah. Beloved, trust in God in all things. Trust in God in all what we are doing. Trust in we need to trust God in all. This is Solomon, a little young guy that the father put him on his throne. He was real. He was transparent. He told the Lord. He went into his prayer. He was in, in his prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the Bible says, Solomon, Solomon, God appeared to him just when he went to do sacrifices. When he went to do sacrifice, God appeared to him in a dream. It means God was pleased with him with the sacrifice that he has given in the altar. God was pleased with him with the burnt offering that he brought to the altar. God was pleased with him with his right heart. God was pleased with him with the right motive. God was pleased with him because he wanted to know the will of God concerning him. God was pleased with him. He trusted God in all things. He said he can't do this alone without God being in that business. He knew that God, hallelujah, will always be in the business, that God has been in the business and when this father was still in the throne, when the father was ruling, the father was faithful, the father was righteous, the father was right, hallelujah, upright, hard, he was trusting God in all things and therefore God, Solomon repeated the same thing, praying the same prayer, hallelujah, asking God. Before then, he went to sacrifice in Gibeon. He went to sacrifice, he gave a lot of things and God appeared to him in a dream. Beloved, what is the sacrifice that you are giving to God? What is the sacrifice that we are bringing to God? Hallelujah. The sacrifice we are bringing to God We make God to appear to us in our dream to tell us, ask me. God, I told him, ask me what you want. Ask me what you want. Hallelujah. The sacrifices that you are giving me, so pleasing to me. Ask me what you want. Ask me. We, are, we just need only to come into the presence of God all the time, sacrificing. Yes. With that sacrifice, we cannot please God. Hallelujah. Obedient. Obedient, Solomon. Ask for whatever. God said to you, ask for whatever. Whatever you want me to give you. Trusting God in everything, beloved. Trusting God in everything. Hallelujah, glory be to God. But Solomon asked God only for the spirit of wisdom and discernment, intelligence, the spirit to govern, the spirit to govern in the right heart. He didn't ask for long life. He didn't ask that God should kill his enemy. He didn't ask that, oh my God, give me this for myself. It was not a selfish prayer, beloved. When we wake up early in the morning and we are standing here to pray for the nation, to pray for our community, to pray for our church, Amen. to pray for our our family out and in to pray for our friends, the body of Christ. Hallelujah. God is watching us. He's watching the motive of our heart. He knows what we want deeply and he's asking you this morning. He's asking me this morning. Ask me whatever you want. I will give it to you. This is a powerful word. Ask me whatever you want. And that's what Jesus Christ said also in the book of John chapter 14. He said you have not yet asked me anything. Ask. It's not ask. Hallelujah. It means we have to trust God in all. We have to trust God in everything. Trust him in our health. Trust him that is the provider. Trust him that is the healer. Trust him that is our shield. Trust him that is our strength. Trust him that Jehovah Shabbat is the one fighting for us. He's the one fighting our battle. He's El Shaddai. He's El Shammai. He is present. We have to trust him in all. Hallelujah. Trust in God is all. Solomon prayed this powerful prayer. It, it was not a long prayer. 
it just first of all acknowledge the power of God. It first of all acknowledge the presence of God. Hallelujah. Tell him the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my God, you have made me. It first of all acknowledge the position God has made him. God has called him. There were many. David had a lot of sons, but him was the one that David chose to be a king. He was the one. You, you are the one that the Lord has called to help others, to bring the light into your family. There are many children, but God has chosen you. He has called you. He has chosen you. He said, now, O oh Lord, you have made your servant king in the place of my father David. But I am only a little child. Most of us sometimes we don't recognize the position of which God has. That's why we neglect the place of God. That's why we are neglecting the house of God. Because we don't even understand ourselves. We don't even know the position that the Lord has placed us. We don't even know the place that God has placed us. God has placed us in the high position. But we are always bringing ourselves down. To eat down. To eat with the beggars. God has placed us to be a king and king princess. We are always bringing ourselves down. That's why we are not faithful to do what we are doing. Hallelujah. We are not faithful to in the house of God because we don't know really the position that the Lord has placed us. But Solomon identifies police position. He knew, he said, he say, oh, you have made your servant king in the place of my father David. But I am only a child. How? And I do not know how to carry out my duties. Beloved, this is a powerful, powerful, powerful in the King James Version. He said, I do not know how to govern these great people. I do not even know how to start to govern them. They are older people from me they have served under my father i don't know how to govern i don't know how to i don't even have no idea no clue what i'm going to do i'm just a little child hallelujah but i trust in you lord that you will give me wisdom you will give me the sentiment i trust in you that every day you will guide me Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We trust in God in all. Yes, that thing that you want to do. Hallelujah. Trust that God will open your spirit. God will give you wisdom. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Thank you, Jesus. Hola. He said, your servant is here among the people you have chosen. A great people. Too numerous to count or numbers. Too numerous to count on numbers. These are the great people. First of all, Solomon acknowledged that he's not just ruling his mate. He's not ruling his mate, the classmate. He acknowledged the kingdom that is not there just for himself. He said God has given him this position to rule so great people, the people of God. Hallelujah. When you have a position or not in, a, in another in our country, when someone has a position to be a minister or to be this or to be that, is to maltreat others, is to match upon others. But Solomon acknowledged that no, these people will need me. I need to be, I need to know what I ought to do. I need to know what I ought to do. But I will not ask any person that has been with my father here, I'm going to go to the right source. I'm going to the right source. Hallelujah. He went to the right source where the father used to go. Oh yes. Don't forget David always go and acquire from the Lord. When people abandon him, he will go to the altar. He will go to the tabernacle and God will begin to speak to him. Hallelujah. Solomon began to follow the step of the father. He said, these are the people you have given me. Yes. So give your servant Give your servant, when you are a servant of God, give your servant a discernment heart. A discernment heart. Pray that prayer. Lord, give me a discernment heart. Give me a discerning heart. Give me a discerning heart. Give me the spirit to discern. Give me the spirit to discern. A discerning heart to govern your people. Beloved, any position you have in the church or in your workplace or in your, in, in your career, you need a discerning heart. You need wisdom. He said, give yourself a discerning heart, hallelujah, to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong for who is able to govern these great people of yours. Who is able to govern these great people of yours? Who is able? I need you, Lord, to help me. We neglect our career. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, my son, thank you, my son. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you. We miss you. We miss you. Hallelujah. God bless you. I say, God bless you. God bless you. Yes, we need a discerning heart to govern. We need a discerning heart to do what, to work in our workplace. We need a, dis when you don't have a discerning heart, you don't have a discerning spirit, you'll be falling into the trap of the enemy. You'll be listening to counsel, to advices that does not please God. You'll be listening to wrong advice that will not take you anywhere. But when you pray that prayer that Lord give me a discerning heart hallelujah give me a discerning heart give me wisdom hallelujah so that I can the wisdom is the ability to distinguish wrong good right and wrong is the ability to distinguish right and wrong he said give me wisdom so that I will distinguish between right and wrong for who is able who is able to give you wisdom that's a prayer that's a very short prayer Short prayer that Solomon prayed, but God said, God was pleased. Hallelujah! God was pleased. God was pleased. Hallelujah! That Solomon had asked of this wisdom, discerning heart to govern the people of God, not to ask of long life. We centralize our prayer, Lord, give me long life. Give to do what with long life. The life that He has already given you from from the time that you began to, or you haven't done anything with it. Have you done anything with it? Yes, you need wisdom. You need discerning heart. Hallelujah. That we can walk in the in the in, 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 in the right way that God wants us to walk in the mighty name of Jesus. And then the Bible said the Lord will please was pleased. So God said to him, Since you have not asked, you have not centralized your prayer just for yourself, for your mother, for your brothers. You have asked for something. That is on the behalf of the well-being of others. Oh yes, let us ask for things that is, is for the well-being of others. It is of the well-being of your friend. Oh my God, you are praying for someone that you've seen that his heart is so hard to believe God. You are praying for somebody that you in your family that you can see that he, he, he is not even caring about the things of God. You are praying for your friend, you are praying for your community, you are praying for your government, you are praying for, for your teacher that he doesn't love God, he doesn't know God. You, you see, God will say, yes, my son, you have asked me for the right thing. God was pleased. And God said to him, since you have not asked me for, for this and not for your long life, or ask me for words or for yourself, you centralize. God bless me. I want to be rich. I want to be rich. I want people to know that I'm a rich. I want people to see that, oh Lord, you are working. No, that's wrong prayer. Yes, God already has already blessed us. With spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. We are already blessed. But we need to ask a discerning spirit. We need to ask wisdom. How are we going to use the riches? How are we going to use the potential that the Lord has given us? The gift that the Lord has given us. God has blessed us already. That's why Christ came. He made himself poor so that we become rich. Hallelujah. He said when we were sick, he made us, he said he came to heal us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So I want you to pray this prayer. Lord, give me a discerning heart give me a discerning heart give me a discerning heart give me wisdom yes you got a career you got plans to do you got a lot of things to do not for yourself but for the well-being of others not because oh you want your family you know we centralize our prayer or we cannot see the hand our prayer is so selfish that we cannot see the hand of god our prayer is so selfish hallelujah so selfish just our our self our self our family our self our family yes it's good to do all that but let me tell you god says the things that you have not asked that i know that is the best for you i'm going to give you that's what I say in Jeremiah eleven twenty nine. He said, "I've got a good plan. I've got good plans. I've got good plans for you. Not you having the plan for yourself. God has a good plans. Hallelujah, glory be to God." He said, "You have not asked me for the death of your enemies, but for the discerning in administrating justice. I will do what you have asked. Hallelujah. I will do what you have asked, Solomon." 
glory be to God, and I will give you a wise and discerning heart, so that there will never have been anyone like you. Baka sakara ira baka soko rekara baba ba God keep on positioning Solomon very high. He keep on positioning Solomon very high. Solomon said, "You are giving me such a great person. You have given a son to your servant David that will rule over the over the great people, the people that you love, the people that you have chosen." But now God say, "Look at that! Look at that! God now place position him very high." He said, "Give me this uh, descending hand. Give me a descending hand. Give me the spirit of wisdom." God said, "I'm going to position you higher than what you think. Higher than what you think. You are not just going to rule." You are not just going to rule all of these people. You are going to have a la massacre. I will give you what you what you have not asked. I will give you wise and discerning heart so that you will never have, they will never have, they will never have anyone like you. My God. Marika Saka, Renebo Soko, they will never have. Do you see where God wants to position you? Do you see where the Lord wants to position me? Hallelujah. We're still eating down, down, down. God wants to position us in a place that they will never have anyone like you in your generation, in the ability, in talent, in wisdom, in discernment. When you trust fully in Him, Hallelujah. He positions Solomon now in the highest place. He said they will never. They will. I love God. God always positions. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He has the same thing he told Joshua. He said, Joshua, there will never be anyone. Anywhere that you're full with temple. Nobody. Hallelujah. You get the place. You get the place. And no one who shall be able. No one shall be able to stand before you. You see, when you trust in the Lord fully, God will position you. You will not poke you. You will not. Hallelujah. You not position yourself in the high place. It's the Lord that will lift you up. He will lift you up. He will position you that no other person, despite what they will do to bring you down, nothing can bring you down because God is the one, the almighty father, the I am that I am, the creator of heaven and earth. He is the one that has positioned us, positioned me in the high place. Hallelujah. In that position, the highest position that no one, hallelujah, no one, no one will never have anyone. They will never have any Anyone like you? No, will there be? Will, will there be? Hallelujah! We don't know. There will be never be like you. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for: both riches and honor. My God, God keep on lifting Solomon because his motive, the motive of Solomon had was upright. His motive was upright. His motive pleases God. What he wanted, he wanted the right thing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I've come to pray for you this morning. Don't look down yourself. The only, the medication, the medicine for us this morning is to trust God in all. Trusting God in all. Trusting God in all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Trusting God in all. That's what most of us lack. Most of us lack this. To trust God in all is very difficult. But we forgot to know that when we trust God in all, when you want you <laughs> we find time to work hard for ourselves. Believing that is that hard work that will lift us up. Is that hard work that will make us to be in that position that we are looking for. We are working hard, my God. Hallelujah, beloved. Wherever you are, there is no breakthrough. There is nothing, my God. Look at Daniel, look at Shedrach, look at Mesa, look at Abednego. When they took them to captivity in Babylon, they didn't have nobody. They didn't have anybody. Hallelujah. But what they have, they trusted God and God lifted them in the high position. I've come to pray for someone this morning that you are thinking that your position, that's where you're going to be. But I want to tell you, God is 
is working. He is bringing Marina Baseke. He is bringing you out from that struggle. Out from that struggle. If only you trust him. Solomon trusted God by bringing sacrifices in Gideon. By asking him, God said, I will give you what you did not ask. God will give you what you didn't ask. If only you can trust in him fully, 100%. He said, what you didn't ask Solomon, I'm going to give you. Look at his position. He said, no one will be able to be in your standard. Hallelujah. Even now that you are ruling or after, and we can see right now in this world, no one, no person, no president, no person, nobody, no king, no queen has got wisdom, the kind of wisdom Solomon had. No person, nobody. We are just getting a little portion, a little zero zero point one wisdom from Solomon writing, from Solomon's song. We are just getting a little, little thing. No person. It means the word of God is true. The word of God is true. Nobody, no one, philosopher, doctor, president, king or queen, nobody. But when you trust him, he gives you that one fraction. Oh my God. People say, oh, he's very wise. He's wise. But not wiser than Solomon, beloved. Not wiser than Solomon. Makasaka. No, yeah. Just a little portion that we have got. Little portion that some people have got. Some president have got. Some queen and king have got. Little portion. Oh, we say, oh, they are very wise. No. God has, the word of God is coming to pass. It must surely come to pass. Hallelujah. He said, moreover, I will give you what you have not asked. For both riches and honor, continue to riches and honor, riches and glory. My God, people were coming all over to hear the wisdom that Solomon was speaking. Beloved, we have to trust God in all. We have to stop trying to make ourselves in the position that we can never be. God will lift you high. We are trying to be in the highest position, working hard, abandoning the things of God, abandoning the hearts of God, abandoning the hearts of God, thinking is that hard working, beloved, that will make us to acquire what we want. No, we have to stop it. Yes, working in the heart of, in the hearts of God is the best. That the Lord will lift you high above every of your generation. And he, he confirmed it in the life of Shadrach, Mensah, Daniel. He confirmed it in the life of Ruth. He confirmed it in the life of Esther. God always will never fail us. Hallelujah. He will never fail you. He said, oh, riches and honor. So it will be in your lifetime. Lord, in your lifetime. In your lifetime, riches and honor, my God. Thank you, Father. Say, yes, Lord, I repent from working hard and abandoning your house. I repent from working hard and abandoning to go out and evangelize. I repent, oh, Lord, because the position you have put me is so high that I can even think about. Yes, it's God that lifted up Solomon in the high position. God lifted him. Oh my God, he said, no one shall be able, there is no one that will be like you, even now and before, and it is true. It is yes and amen. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh my God, let nothing take you from the presence of God. Yes, my son, trusting God in all. Trusting him in all. Yes, Kora in a baka seke. Re karabaka soko re masaka redebo. Reke deke reba soko ria masoko ria baka seke. Rika si karabaka seke ria baba baba. Rika si karama sondo robo soko rababa. In Proverbs, the book of Proverbs written by Solomon. And now he confirmed it in his book of Proverbs. He said, My he said, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my command in your heart, for they will prolong your life. No, they will prolong your life. They will give you many years and bring your and bring you prosperity. Just the command of God. Just keep it. You know, we have not yet been set free from the things of this world. Most of us have not been set free. Even the pandemic have come to kill the rich people, the poor people, the this. Most of us have not yet been. Our eyes are still in the things of the world. Forgetting to trust God. Forgetting that the thing you are working hard for is just beside you. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is looking for you to give you that thing. 
Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He said, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Love and faithfulness. Say, Lord, I pray that love and faithfulness will not leave me in this throughout my life. Love and faithfulness will not leave me. Hallelujah. I will bind them around my neck. I will bind them around my neck. I will write them on the tablet of my heart. You see, trusting God in all things, you will write the laws of God in the tablet of your heart. You will trust him in everything. Yes, when people are scattered, people are confused. My God, all these things we are looking for, fighting for, working 24 seven doing this and that one day you can be going to that work and you fall and collapse we know many people in london when they used to come to this country they would think that oh working hard is that they will die in the train because they were working working long days long days long days long days long days tiredness in the train they will die Beloved, working hard. Working hard will not take us anywhere. Yes. But when we trust God, when we trust God, He said, What happened? He said, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Beloved, I have come this morning to give you a good news. That what will make us to be in the presence of God is to bind and write, and write, and write, hallelujah. Write the word of God in the tablet of our heart. Let us have a prayer, hallelujah. Pray and meditate the word of God. Promises of God, the promises of God are full in the word, in, the, in, the, in this book. In the name of Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Solomon who wrote the book of Proverbs. Is canceling or trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. We should not lean on our own understanding. We should not lean on the way we are seeing things. He said, lean not on your own understanding. This is an experienced king that have tasted the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God, the love of God. Hallelujah. He said, lean not in your own understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, in all your ways, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will, he will make you your path straight. Hallelujah. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Hallelujah. He said, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun the evil. When we fear Lord, the Lord will shun the evil. Beloved, this morning, I have come with the good news. Hallelujah. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Say, Lord, I will trust you in all. I will trust you in all. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not live in my own understanding. I will never live in my own understanding. In the the mighty name of Jesus. That business that you want to do is the Lord that will give you the spirit of the descending heart. It will give us wisdom. It will direct our footpath. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes. He said, honor the Lord with your word, with your first food of your club. Then your barn will be filled to overflowing and your vat will be bring over with new wine. That's what he did. He's not telling us what he didn't do. He took sacrifices to Gibeon. He sacrifices in the high places in Gibeon. He gave, he, he gave what other king haven't done in the name. And God blessed him and lifted him on. I pray for you this morning that as you become, as you began to do the things of God, as you began to do the things of God, disaster will not come near you. You will shun evil. You will shun evil by your obedience to the house of in the house of God. You are shunning the evil. You are shunning evil. You are shunning evil. Say, I will shun evil by obeying God, by trusting in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to shun evil. You devil, get out behind me. Get out behind me. Carry your baggage and go. Baggage of disobedience. Baggage of uh, of disobedience. Carry it and go. B baggage of lack of faith. Baggage of doubt. Carry it and go. In 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, baggage of anxiety, baggage of worry, I come against you right now, in the name of Jesus. Solomon did not worry, beloved. Solomon didn't worry about anything. He knew that the, the throne, the, the, the throne that he was there, he needed but only God to direct him. He needed but only God to show him. Hallelujah. Daniel, Shedda, Mesach, and Abanago, when they took them, they took many of them, but Daniel, Shedda, and Abanago, they knew that where they are, the Lord was the Jehovah Shama was with them. Jehovah Shama was with them. God was present in their midst. So they never abandoned God. They never abandoned God. Anything they said, they were going to go and ask God. We're going to go acquire to the Lord. We are going to ask God. He is the one that will reveal to us the secret things. He will reveal to us the things, the heart of man. Beloved, I come to pray for you this morning that they may the Lord, hallelujah, wisdom, hallelujah, wisdom is supreme than everything. We need to ask of wisdom, the spirit of discernment, to be upright, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Pray that prayer. What makes Solomon to be higher? Because he did not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. When you read the book of uh, uh, of First King, you will see all those that were ungodly, that were fighting against his father. They were trying to persecute his father. You will see what Solomon did with them, with the wisdom that God gave to them, with the wisdom and knowledge, hallelujah, the sentiment to govern the people of God. I pray that you are not going to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Say, I will not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Yes. The one that is not doing the right thing is the one canceling you. The one that is not obeying God is the one canceling you. Maraka Sakaria Bakaseke. What will you cancel you? My God, not to for you not to obey God. The one that is not faithful in the house of God is the one canceling you. I pray that you will not walk in the counsel of ungodly. May the wisdom of God, hallelujah, be your portion. May the wisdom of God be your portion. You will not forsake wisdom. Say, I will not forsake wisdom. Wisdom will protect you beloved wisdom will protect you when you trust in the lord wisdom will protect you pray that prayer pray that prayer because wisdom is the supreme the sentiment of the spirit i say god sees the heart and he sees the motive of our heart whatever thing you want to do this morning this time did you put it bring it in the altar of god bring it write it down put it sit down bring it to the lord say lord this is what i want to do i need the spirit the sending heart i need wisdom i need wisdom i need how i need guidance i need you to lead me oh yes make your perfect will be done bring it into the altar of god if the lord say no, don't go with it. Don't carry it. Leave it. He will know how he can stop you. He will know how he can lift you up. Listen, the way he lifted Solomon up, he will lift us up. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said there shall be no one. In your, no one, no one, no one in the surface of the earth. He said no one, even now and even after. And is the truth. The word of God is yes and amen. What is that thing that is taking you away from the presence of God? What is that thing that is taking me away from the presence of God? This morning I'm running. I'm coming with run. I'm running, hallelujah, in the house of God. I'm running in the presence of God. The, the house of God is not just the church, you know. It's in you, in you, in you. That spirit, as we sang, yes, that as it departed after the water, so are our soul, so our soul, hallelujah, long after the Lord. So that spirit of God, let the spirit of God begin to water your spirit. Let the spirit of God begin to water your spirit in the name of Jesus, so that you will run, hallelujah, so that you have the spirit, you have the mind to discern good and bad. You know, when you frustrate the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, seek a frustrate the Holy Spirit, you know, you are not going to be happy. Anytime the Holy Spirit wants you to do something Thing and you will disobey. Peace will leave us. Peace will leave us. Peace will leave us. Yes, we are doing what we are doing because we have not got an encounter with the Lord. Makasaka, we don't really know the kind of the God that we are serving. We are serving a mighty God, beloved. We are serving the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Almighty. We are serving the one that makes the heaven and earth, the one that clothes the children, the people of Israel. 
in the in fed them. They oh my God, nobody lacked anything. As they were growing, their clothes was growing, their shoe was growing. Hallelujah. Cause 40 years in the desert, as they were growing, their shoe were growing. They didn't lack anything. He was feeding them breakfast, lunch, dinner, Morocco, Soko, Reba, Saka. He was feeding them. He was feeding them. Yes, he has shown us his power. And we need to trust fully in him. We need to trust him fully. We need to trust him fully and obey him. In his word that he's doing, say, Lord, I'm going to obey you this morning. I want to obey you, Lord. Remove everything that is making me to go astray. Take it away, Holy Spirit. Take it away. Take it away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it away. Rika Sakaraba Sokoria. And Jesus come to confirm, he validate what Solomon did. He validated it. The book of John chapter 14, from verse 12. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have done. I have been doing. Will do what I have been doing. New King James Version. He will do even greater things than this because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever. This is what happened to Solomon. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, we centralize this thing for ourselves. We do it only, oh, Jesus, give me this, give me long life, give me riches. Let my business prosper. We don't think about the well-being of others. We don't think about the offer. We don't think about our community. We don't pray for our government. We just centralize only for our friends. Oh, give me this. Give me that. Give me this. Give me a good job. When I finish my, my, my university, I need a good career for myself. I want to be seen. I want to be known in my family. Let that woman that is wicked to my mother, let her know that, oh, my father, my mother has got to. We always centralize it. Our prayer is just in ourselves. Self Fish prayer only us and us. Ask me. Ask me anything that you want, and I will do it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This morning I've come with a good news. I have come with a good news. Yika Raba Soko Rema Sende. Reke Reka Soko Raba Sende Reda Basoko. Rika Sika Rama Sondo Reba Saka. Lord Father, open my eyes to see where you are taking me. Lord, help me to understand your word. In the name of Jesus, I've gone astray. I have been erring around and around. But this morning, Lord, I have heard your voice. I have heard your voice. And I'm coming. I'm running. I'm running in the house of worship. Pray that prayer. I'm running in the house of worship. I'm running. Oh, yes, let my heart be right with you in the name of Jesus. Let my heart be right with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I am running in the house of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I need you, Father. I need you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Jesus said, It is written, what we have to ask God is the ask of me. Ask of me. We need to be knowledgeable, beloved. It's the ask of me. I will make I will make the nation your heritance. Ask of me. I will make the nation your heritance. The end, the end of the earth, your possession. You will rule them with an iron scepter. You will dash them to pieces like a pottery. Ask of me, the nation. Ask of me. That Lord, let people begin to know you. Let, let the light of God shine. Let the light of God shine in my city. Let the glory of God shine where I am. Let my neighbor receive Jesus. Let people that are in this area begin to know about you, Lord. Ask for me the nation. I will give it unto you as an inheritance. These are the things. These are no selfish prayer, beloved. We are asking God for the revival to come. But we need to be revived ourselves. We need to be revived ourselves in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we pray this morning that the Spirit of God will revive you. The Spirit of God will revive me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, Father, revive my spirit. Oh, let my spirit, I need a new unction. I need a fresh oil 
every day. I need a fresh oil. Oh, Jesus said, ask of me anything. Ask me anything. He said, you have not yet asked. You have not yet asked because we are asking only for our own, for our own selfish ambition. We are asking only for, for long life. We want to live long. We want, yes, it's good. But what have we done with the, with the few years that God has given us? What have we done with the few years that we are living? We have no one even one soul to the Lord. And we are still asking God to give us long life. I pray for you this morning that as you've listened to the sound of my voice, you will change. Your mindset will change. The way you are seeing the things of the Lord will change. Say yes, because you have heard the voice of God this morning. You have heard the voice of God this morning. The way you are doing things will change. Your mindset will change. You will not be moving uh, one step forward, ten step backward. I will not be moving one step forward, ten step backward. I will be moving forward and backward never. Pray that prayer. I will move forward and backward never. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Spirit of God come upon you right now. May the Lord open your eyes, hallelujah, to see the right thing, to pray the right prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Bible, hallelujah, may you serve God with fear and trembling. Serve God with fear and trembling. Serve God with fear and trembling. In the name of Jesus. Serve God with fear and trembling. Say, I will serve God with fear and Remember, listen, it said the, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's the beginning of wisdom. It means you will know to do the right thing and the wrong thing. You can discern the right and wrong. The ability to discern right and wrong. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's the righteous God. Is a righteous God. So this morning, it will meet you as a point of meeting. If you are sick this morning, I pray that you are healed. As for God, I pray that you are healed. I pray that you are healed because it's the promise of God. He said we are healed. And in the name of Jesus, we were even here. In the name of Jesus, he went to the cross once and for all. And he carried our infirmity, our sickness, our disease. He nailed it on the cross once and for all. I pray for you that are positive, that you are healed. Because the Bible says, ask for me, you that are watching me this morning, you are here. Wherever is paining you, wherever that pain is, it will disappear by the power of the blood, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. That job that you are looking, you may think, no, no, they don't want me because I'm not from this country. I'm telling you, a supernatural favor of God will usher you, we usher you to that place and you will receive that job. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your position will be higher. Only fear God. Only fear God and have your heart be in to serve God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No death will come near you. No incident or accident will come near you. The Bible says so. God said, Solomon, you did not ask for long life, but long life I will give it to you. I'm going to give you long life. Yes, you will live long. He never asked for it, but God said, you're going to live long. Empower us, Lord. Fresh ocean this morning. Fresh anointing this morning. Thank you for India. Thank you for the healing power that is taking place. Thank you for those that, oh my God, have been healed. Thank you for this pandemic that is being, being on control. Be in control, oh Lord. Take it, hallelujah. Thank you for the doctors that you've given in that little portion of wisdom. That little portion of wisdom for them knowledge. That little portion of knowledge for them to help others in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, Father, empower us in the name of Jesus. You that are watching me this morning, I pray that you will never be the same. Your life will never be the same. Your life will never be the same because you have put your trust fully into the Lord. Fully. He sees our heart. He sees our heart. Hallelujah. You will not fear 10,000. You will not fear. You will not fear the 10,000. Hallelujah. That are coming against you every day. You will not fear them. You will not fear the 10,000 enemy because God has built an age of protection around you. The blood of Jesus cover you. You are going out and you are coming in. You are coming in and you are going out. I will be protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any means of transportation you are using or you are taking, you are on 
under the protection of God this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. That business that you think you can't do it, that vision that you are carrying, you think you cannot do it. Let me tell you, God says it will God, it will do more than that. He is going to do more than that. We just need to acknowledge that I cannot, I'm not able to carry with this great, great vision that God has shown me. But God will direct our footstep this morning. He will direct our footstep. He will lead us into the green pasture. In the name of Jesus, he is our shepherd. He is our shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd. He will lead us in a green pasture. Hallelujah. He will restore our soul. He will restore your soul. Any anxiety, depression, worries, God is about to restore you. Joy is coming to you. Peace is coming in your heart. In the name of Jesus, I know that you go. the Lord is moving us from, from glory to glory. He told Solomon, hallelujah, I will honor you and I will glorify you. Hallelujah. The glory of God is God that when he said, I will honor you. Hallelujah. He said, I will honor you and I will glorify you. And Jesus said the same thing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for what you are doing in our life this morning. I give you glory and I give you honor because God is our deliverance. Hallelujah. The blessing will come upon his people. The blessing of God will come upon you. You will not lack. You will not lack. You are unstoppable. You are the head and never the tail. Always confess this. Hallelujah. Believe it. Believe it. In the name of Jesus. And God will lift you higher and higher and higher and higher. Only. That's why I told Solomon. Only. If you obey my statute and my commandment as your father David, no one shall be able to stand to be like you, neither after or before you. Only if you obey. Hallelujah. And Jesus said the same thing in the book of John chapter 14. If you obey my command and do them, listen, obey and do them, this is what anything you ask, hallelujah, I will give it unto you. You can ask me the nation, people, I will give it unto you. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for your life, you that are watching us this morning, that we are connecting in this spirit of prayer. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. Keep on tomorrow morning. We are here again. Trusting God. Put trust, trusting God in all, in all, in all, and in all. And God Almighty will see us through. He will see you through. He will see me through. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the enemy will not come near our tent. Hallelujah. Because he's watching over you. He's watching over me. As long as we are doing the right thing, as long as we are doing the right thing, we are trusting in him. He's on his throne in heaven. He's watching over us. Thank you. If you are watching us for the first time, you have not known this Jesus Christ that we are talking about. He said, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, hallelujah, you are safe. So if you confess and look for a Bible, begin to read it. If you look for a, a now nah, things are, the love that is being lifted gradually, look for a Bible-based church that they teach the word of God truly in truth and in truth hallelujah look for it and go for the bible study if not connect with us on tuesday evening hallelujah is our bible studies and you will never be the same anymore your life will be transformed in the mighty name of jesus and the power of morning prayer is every morning from monday to Friday, every morning, the power of morning prayer, every morning. And we thank God for those that are faithfully connecting with us. Thank you, Astrid. God bless you, my son. You are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. The Lord will never forget you wherever you are. The Lord will surprise you. I say the Lord will surprise you. Believe me, we are praying for you. God will surprise you. Yes, in that land, the Lord will surprise you. He is the same God wherever we are. He is the same God. Just put all your full trust in him he will never leave you he will never forsake you in the mighty name of jesus christ let us share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen and amen shalom bye bye see you tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening do not be slack god is with us he will never leave us and will never forsake us in jesus name you are covered by the blood of jesus you are covered by the blood of jesus the blood of jesus speaks powerfully in our favor in the mighty name